Hey everybody, Mike here with Everything About Concrete. It's Concrete Question Friday, where I'm going to try to answer 10 questions in 10 minutes or less. Now, in case you don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I own everythingaboutconcrete.com. This channel is about all things related to concrete. So if you like concrete, you like concrete kind of stuff like we do, then go ahead down there and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video and hit the little bell notification also. I'll come out with concrete type videos two to three times a week. So that'll keep you updated. All right, let's get right to it. I only got 10 minutes. Number one, what sealer is best for stamp concrete? Well, that kind of depends on what look you want. Do you want the wet look or do you want a more natural look? If you want a more natural looking concrete that doesn't have a high sheen to it, then you're going to want a penetrating type of sealer or maybe a water-based acrylic type of sealer. If you want a wet look or if you want to darken the concrete to bring out the color more in it, then you're going to want an acrylic solvent-based sealer. And those are the two best types of sealers to put down. All right, question number two. How long after applying SikaGuard sealer, which is a penetrating sealer, can it be walked on? Well, whenever you put a penetrating sealer on the concrete, as soon as it's dry to touch, you're good to walk on it. You're not going to hurt a penetrating sealer by walking on it if the concrete feels dry. Simple enough. Question number three. I'd like to reseal my single car garage floor. The original concrete work was done 12 years ago. What's the best choice in a solvent-based clear sealer? Well, for solvent-based clear sealers, something that's going to give you kind of like a wet look, I like to use Foundation Armor's AR350. I'll have a link for it down in the description so you can check it out. This will give you the wet look and it kind of has a satin sheen to it. It can be used on garage floors, basement floors, stamp concrete, concrete driveways, pavers, pretty much all type of concrete. It, it's, it's a non-yellowing type of sealer and it's UV resistant, so the sun's rays aren't going to really bother it. Um, and it's pretty easy to reapply over itself. These acrylic solvent-based sealers, they, they usually last for two or three years, then you got to reapply them. So remember, whenever you're applying an acrylic-based sealer, a solvent-based or water-based, doesn't matter, you want to put it on in very thin coats, usually two, maybe three really thin coats, like 500 square feet a gallon. You can spray it down, you can roll it down. I like spraying it myself, but uh, you thin to win. All right, question number four. What kind of tinted or colored concrete sealer can I use to seal my garage floor? Well, again, Foundation Armor has a tinted concrete sealer that's pretty easy to apply also. I'll leave a link for that in the description. So you can go on their website, you buy their concrete sealer, and you tell them you want it tinted, and they'll, they got about, I don't know, 20 different colors. Tell them what color you want. They'll put it in right there at the manufacturing plant, and then they'll ship it to you all tinted. So all you got to do is put it in your sprayer, put it in your roller pan, and apply it. Question number five. Can I apply a tinted solvent-based sealer over my water-based sealer on my stamp concrete? And if so, should I use xylol first to prepare the concrete? Well, solvent-based over water-based? That's the question. The simple answer is no. Applying a solvent-based sealer over a water-based sealer, it's usually a pretty bad idea. The solvents can eat or soften the water-based sealer and it's going to end up ruining both coatings. So <clears throat> water-based sealers tend to have a lower gloss and they don't darken the concrete as much than the solvent-based sealers. So what you can try to do, if, if the, if the water-based sealer still seems like it's bonded pretty good, you can just tr try cleaning it by pressure washing it, let it dry really good, and then apply a couple more coats of water-based sealer. If not, then you're going to have to chemically strip it off, um, and that's kind of a pain in the butt. I'll leave a link for a good chemical stripper for a water-based acrylic sealer down in the description, so you can check that out. Once you get it stripped off and see and uh, it's dry, then you can put a solvent-based sealer down. 
Question number six. My floor is 30 years old, scored in stained concrete. I stripped and I restained the score lines. My goal is to have a wet look. What sealer should I use? Well, for a do-it-yourselfer, probably the easiest sealer to have a wet look is an acrylic solvent-based sealer. Um, it's going to be a little stinky. They have an odor to it, so you're going to have to do it on a nice dry day where it's warm. You can open up all the windows, get really good ventilation. Um, you know, this stuff is solvent-based, so it could flash off if it's if it gets really fumy inside the house. So you're going to want to open up all the windows. It dries really fast, so that's a good thing. But a solvent-based, wet-look concrete sealer is what you're going to want to use. And I would, again, Foundation Armor has a really good one. That link will be down in the description for that. Question number seven. I have a pea gravel driveway or exposed aggregate and was wondering what's the best type of sealer for that? Is there a spray type or is it better to roll it on? And does it need to be colored or can you just use a clear? Well, again, now I'm not an affiliate for Foundation Armor or anything like that, but they do have good sealers. And Foundation Armor has a sealer specifically for exposed aggregate concrete. It's called Armor AG Brown. And what it does, it provides a semi-transparent, so it's kind of it's kind of see-through. It's not perfectly clear, but it has a brown tint to it. And that helps bring out the natural colors in the aggregate of the exposed aggregate in the concrete. It is a high gloss coating, so it will leave behind a sheen, but it's UV resistant. Um, and it also helps prevent the pebbles from becoming loose. So I would check out that AG Brown from Foundation Armor. I'll have a, a description. I'll have a link for it in the description so you can check that out also. How are we doing on time? Seven, almost seven and a half minutes. We got a couple more minutes here. Question number eight. We just sealed our driveway with a clear penetrating sealer. Can we put a colored stain on it? And if so, how long do we have to wait? Well, the answer to that is most likely yes. A penetrating sealer does just that. It penetrates into the concrete. It doesn't leave a film behind. So you can put uh, a stain over it. You can put a, you can paint over it. Now, if you over apply the penetrating sealer, then it's going to have some residue left on it and it might not bond in those areas. So you're going to want to pressure wash the driveway really good first and then apply your type of stain. Um, probably a, a water-based kind of stain or an or a acetone type of dye would work best. And I would wait a couple days after you put the penetrating stain down to do this. Make sure the driveway is good and dry. Question nine. I scrubbed and I power washed my stamped concrete patio. I waited two days for good, dry, perfect 70 degree weather with no sun and no wind. I applied a good quality concrete sealer in a thin coat with a sheepskin roller. And an hour later, I had two spots that blistered. What could cause this and what do I do to fix the spots? Well, almost anything could cause it really. I mean, did you do it early in the morning? Was it high humidity? You know, if, if, it, if there's a lot of dew at night, that dew gets on the concrete as well. And even though the concrete looks dry, it gets, it gets absorbed into the concrete. And as the sun comes up, that moisture comes out of the concrete. So if you sealed it then, you're going to get some outgassing and you might get some blisters. Um, did you do it late in the afternoon when it was really warm? Concrete was hot. Or maybe you, maybe you put on the sealer a little too thick. I mean, you said you put it on thin, but really how thin? Was it 500 square feet a gallon or was it 200 square feet a gallon? So the fix is usually, usually get a little bit of xylene and you can spray some xylene on those blisters and just rub them out with a roller a little bit and the xylene will re-emulsify the sealer and it'll, it'll just make the blisters go away and you'll be fine. Oh, we're at 10 minutes. I got one more question here. How long do I have to wait to use Thompson's water sealer on my concrete patio? Well, I went right to Thompson's water sealer webpage and what they say is the concrete must be completely cured, which means a minimum of four weeks and dry before you apply our sealers to any concrete. So simple question, simple answer. 
You're going to have to wait about a month. All right, guys, that's it. That's Concrete Question Friday. Today was mostly geared towards concrete sealers. Uh, 10 questions in 10 minutes or less. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, go down there and hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell notification so you can, you can see all my upcoming videos. And thanks for watching, guys.